Hello guys, it's Aptek here and I'm back with another video and uh, this is going to be my review of the ATH M20Xs and I got these headphones about two weeks ago and I have them right here so I did a previous video on them which is a quick unboxing just to show you guys what you get in the box and what pretty much they look like and now that I've spent about two weeks with them I think I've spent enough time uh, to be able to give you a full review I've been using them every day pretty much with my computer back there to play music, games and uh, watch uh, YouTube videos pretty much as well so I've been using them every day uh, for quite a long time so I got these headphones uh, because my previous HD 201s from Sennheiser broke one of the ear cups is not working so I decided to get a bit better quality headphones and I decided on these since I saw them on a decently good price for £39 on Amazon and very good reviews as well and a new Audio Technica makes high quality headphones and these are no exception so let's just start off with the comfortability as you can see which you probably saw from my uh, unboxing video these are pretty decent pads and these are over your headphone styles so uh, they go over your ears and not on them unlike my previous headphones or the headphones I've been using to replace my Sennheiser so far which are the Blue Audio of uh, Bluetooth headphones, which I got those to use with my phone primarily for working out and all that and going on the move. But those headphones aren't, aren't, that, uh, aren't that comfortable for extended periods of time, as I found out recently. As you start to, uh, they start to hurt your ears a bit after uh, about an hour, I'd say, of uh, continuous use. But uh, with these headphones, which have the over ear headphone style and a decent amount of padding, uh, that's not a problem so you can wear these for a couple of hours at a time without fatiguing and without hurting your ears and they sound really good, I've been connected them straight to the motherboard output or the motherboard audio output for my computer since I don't have a sound card or a DAC or an amp, any of those and these are not that, uh, I don't think these are that much, uh, they don't require that much power to power them fully if you have the M50Xs or if you want to get the M50Xs which are the higher end 100 pound ones then you might need a DAC or an arm to get the best experience but for these headphones it seems to be working fine I mean the sound looks pretty good uh, the sound is, uh, this, it sounds, they sound pretty good they have a decent amount of bass and very good clarity at high volumes which is what I look forward to and also the bass is a nice addition and they have the a relatively big uh, drivers these are 40 millimeter drivers which are not as big as the ones I have back there but those are Bluetooth so uh, at high volumes they do start to get a bit distorted uh, even though those have 50 milli 57 millimeter drivers I think which are extremely massive and they have decent amount of bass these have decent amount of bass as well but they, they are, they're closed back headphones so the sound is trapped in uh, it doesn't have that good of a sound stage meaning you don't get the surround sound feeling or you, with as, as you get with open back uh, headphones but these are very good if you don't want your music uh, leaking out uh, if you're for example streaming or if you just don't want other people to listen to what you're listening to and if you want uh, to not hear the background noises as open, up, open back headphones allow uh, noise to come in these don't allow these isolate the noise and they have pretty good isolation as well so if I put them on, you can see how they fit on, and you can already hear the isolating, even though music is not playing. Uh, but they are very comfortable. I said they have adjustments, pretty decent amount of adjustment, and after extended periods of time, which I've been using them for, I've been using them for a couple of hours at a time, doing various things like gaming, uh, working on uh, uh, editing videos for you guys, and also uh, listening to music. So I can tell you that they. They are very comfortable even after extended periods of time. The drawback, uh, the only drawback I can see with those headphones is that after a while, if the weather is pretty hot, then your ears might start to sweat and uh, that might become uncomfortable for you after a while. But uh, otherwise, it's they sound perfectly fine and they're perfectly comfortable after extended periods of time. If we compare them this to my previous headphone HD uh, 201s, the Sennheiser HD 201s, I think that these do sound better. And this again have the big uh, long 3 meter cord as well, just like the HD 201, which I like, so I can connect it at the back of my computer and have the moving room or the free room to move around and not be uh, tied down that much to my computer. Uh, but the cord, you do have to be careful with, with the long cord as it can, uh, can easily get tangled up 
everywhere you go so you need to be careful not to trip on these and break them uh, but otherwise they're really good and you can use them with your phone they sound decently good with your phone and a tablet or, uh, or your laptop uh, but uh, the long call does make it a bit more difficult for uh, using them as you go out these are studio monitor headphones meaning that's uh, in a studio environment and not on the go as on the go the long cable can be a really hard to manage and it could be a tripping hazard um, these headphones I would recommend if you want to uh, connect to your uh, computer and just have them there all the time so you can just listen to anything you to music watch videos play games as well uh, these are not the gaming headphones but they do the job just fine I've been playing games with them and uh, they sound just fine for gaming and this is pretty much all I have to say for the headphones and if you want me to uh, if you have any questions about headphones that I, have, I didn't address in this video or forgot to address in this video, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll make sure to answer your questions. But uh, with that said, I think this is going to be the end of the video and if you enjoyed it, make sure you click a like and maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you guys next time.